Welcome back to another Is It Keto Friendly? So today's product is the Smart Diet Solutions Smart Protein Bar. Now it's the dark chopped cherry coconut flavor and this product was once again brought to my attention by a few of the viewers and this actual bar was given to me by Maria. Now Maria goes keto on Instagram. So a couple of weeks ago I was lucky enough to be in Sydney and we had a meetup and it was great to hear about her weight loss and health transformation over the past 12 months uh, following a ketogenic lifestyle. So a shout out to Maria, thanks for this one. Anyway, let's see what the baseline for the blood glucose and blood ketones are. So this morning has been very standard. I've had a fasted gym workout and I've been fasting for the last two hours after that workout. So it'd be interesting to see what these levels are at. So firstly, we've got the blood sugar at 4.4 millimole. So that's the baseline for today's experiment. And we've got the blood ketones at 1.2 millimole. So a good range there to run this one. Now, let's have a look at this dark chopped cherry coconut bar. Now this is an Australian brand, so it's great to see that there is some more companies coming on board. Let's open it up. So, as you can see there, it's a bar of sorts. From what I can understand, it's all raw and cold pressed. There's no heat involved in making this bar. So, although it may not look like a standard chocolate bar, it does look something that would potentially be homemade. So let's have a little taste. Now, straight away, the texture grabs me. It's very chewy. It's a lot more chewy than I would imagine. As far as the flavor profile, that dark chopped cherry coconut, it definitely does remind me of a cherry ripe. However, it's not as sweet. It does have a sweet taste to it, but it's nowhere near as sweet as a cherry ripe that I remember. Now, it's a 60 gram bar, and for today's experiment, I'm going to eat the whole bar. Now, let's take a look at the nutritional information. So per bar, it's 188 calories. There's 18.6 grams of protein, there's 8.7 grams of fat, and 3.1 grams of carbohydrate. Now, we need to be mindful, let's break this down. So, for the protein, it's actually 74 calories. For the fats, it's 78 calories. So that actually leaves 35 calories left over from carbohydrates. So the claimed 3.1 grams of carbohydrates is actually closer to nine grams of carbohydrates. So it has 18 grams of dietary fiber, which straight away for me, that's a concern because if nearly a third of this bar is dietary fiber, then it's um, a little bit misleading. But anyway, it tastes quite pleasant, so let's have some more. Now, before I finish it off, let's take a look at the ingredient profile. So, we've got a protein blend. We've got a natural prebiotic fiber, Almonds, coconuts, cherries, cocoa, cacao butter, natural flavors, and sweetener in the form of stevia or glycosides and sea salt. So although I don't agree with the prebiotic fiber as being one of the main ingredients, this is a really clean list of ingredients as far as a protein bar goes. It's pretty much all natural ingredients. So once again, being an Australian company, it's great to see that there is people making an effort to try and break into the keto space. Now, just to talk again about the texture, I would say it's a combination between a muesli bar with that chewiness and a cherry ripe. But anyway, that's the 60 gram smart protein bar down the hatch. I'll wait two hours and I'll come back and test my blood sugar and blood ketone levels again. I'll see you in two hours. 
Welcome back. So it's been just over two hours since I ate the Smart Protein Bar. And in that two hour time frame, I felt fine. I didn't have any digestive issues. I had no negative impacts. So it'll be interesting to see what the blood sugar and blood ketones have done. So firstly, we've got the blood sugar up from 4.4 millimole to 4.8 millimole. So a bit of a rise there. And we've got the blood ketones, interestingly enough, down from 1.2 millimole to 0.6 millimole. So there you have it. I'm still in ketosis. And on today's activity levels, for me, it appears that the Smart Protein Bar Dark Choc Cherry Coconut flavour is in fact ketogenic. But like I always say, you need to test these products for yourself because everybody is different and everybody does react differently. And a little disclaimer, like I said, that excessive dietary fibre introduced into this bar to bring the carbohydrate content down is a little bit concerning. But maybe this product can be fit into your daily macros and be used as a tool to help you make progress on your goals. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.